Okay, well, I like to lay in the hammock in the summer, and uh, <laughs> this is our, our version of that hammock. So we're having one rope, or perhaps two ropes, um, hanging between two trees here, and the span is an angle theta on, on each side here. And we want to know what is the tension in this rope at the midpoint and here right uh, where it is attached to the tree. And uh, here we already have the free body diagram. I just drew this piece of the rope here that's, that's hanging on this tree here. Um, and uh, we made an imaginary cut. We, we just cut it in the middle, which means gravity is obviously acting on it. It's hanging through. And, uh, but it does so with um, m half here for our half rope. We know that there is a tension here uh, at the midpoint, T mid. And up here, we have a, a tension at, at that end point that goes under this angle here. Uh, I just use a, an ordinary Cartesian coordinate system with the i hat direction going in the x direction and j hat going in the y direction. So all we need to do is we need to apply Newton's second law and do an f equals a m an, an analysis to uh, figure out what these tensions are. So let's apply Newton's second law, uh, the f equals ma analysis, to figure out what the tensions are at the midpoint and at the end over there. So we have f equals ma, and we'll have to very carefully separate the components here. Let's uh, start with i hat. Uh, we have T mid minus T end. But of course, we have only the projection of T end. So this is T end sine theta. And uh, since this rope is just hanging there, the acceleration is 0. In the J hat direction, we have uh, minus m half g and then plus t end. And here we have the cos theta component. And that is also 0. So we see from here uh, pretty much immediately that um, t end equals m half uh, m half g over cos theta. And we can stick this one here into the i hat equation. So we'll get t mid equals m half cos theta g sine theta, and that's nothing else but uh, mg over 2 tangents theta.